Hey everybody, Sawyer189 here. In this issue of Random Reviews, I'm going over the Human Fly, number one for Marvel Comics. Um, but before I get into this book, I want to talk about a little bit the history of this character, because it's very interesting and not very widely known, I feel like. Um, so, first off, as you can see, I think it's here. It talks, no wait. It's up there at the top. They have the tagline of, the world wildest superhero ever because he's real. So yes, the human fly is actually based off a real person that was called the human fly, and he wore a costume very similar to this, not quite as, not quite as cool, because it was a real life costume when it was in the 70s, so it didn't look very good, <laughs> but this guy did wear a costume, he wore a mask, no one actually knows the guy's real name, because he didn't, he didn't put that out publicly, which I think today's, in today's society, there's no way you could be like a public figure like that, and no one knows who you are, and I don't think anyway, but yeah, um, so very interesting in the... In, the, in real life, this this guy calls himself the Human Fly, calls up this rocket science, rocket engineer or whatever, and asks him to make a special rocket-powered thing for his bike so he can jump over, I think, was it... He said 36 buses, but they end up doing 26, which was a, which was just enough to pass over Evil Knievel's record that was the world record at the time. So, this guy does this jump, and he ends up getting hurt really bad. It fails. He's it, He fails about two buses away from hitting the record which has got to suck for somebody who's really trying to break that record and uh he gets hurt real bad and apparently overnight he's he just disappears like he goes to the they send him to the hospital but he's never heard from again he pu disappears from public view and no one knows what happened to this guy didn't some you know of course you got some f conspiracy theorists that think maybe he was killed that you know that maybe he had some enemies from the mob or something like that because you know, this guy was hiding his identity, and he also claimed to be a hero. He claimed that he wanted to fight crime and do all kinds of death-defying things. So, yeah, really interesting concept of a real-life, a real-life person. I mean, damn. But let's get into the book, and you'll start to see some similarities of the real-life story as I get into the into the story of the book. This is an older book, so I'm going to try to be careful with it, um, obviously. So we have Human Fly here, number one. See, you can see the creative team over here. So just always try to let people see the creative team on these older books. Um, so, basically, it starts off with the human fly has just done has just done like a stunt, and he's having an interview over at a playing field, and then an airplane gets. He hears about a airplane that just got hijacked like just a few moments ago by some criminals. You know, the leader calling himself the mercenary, and as you can see here, there's a bunch of reporters. And does this camera guy look familiar, guys? Does he? Well. It's, pr it's who you think it is, but they're not going to say that for a while. They're going to let that kind of simmer down in the background. But yeah, it's Peter Parker. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so the fly basically has to try to... He has to, he has to try to... The, his, he has his little team of people. He has two, like, basically teammates that help him. One's a pilot and one's an engineer. Get it? Engineer? Real life story connection there? So, um... The fly basically jumps down and tries to get onto the plane, and you know, of course there's a storm because of course they have to elevate the situation because because you know, just jumping off a plane to another plane wasn't crazy enough. And um, I really do like the I really do like the art in this book and the costume design for the fly himself. We get some flashbacks. We, we're, you're basically gonna get a flashback to each of the main three main characters and see what happens to them. As you can see here, Blaze, this the the, the, the uh, pilot. She was basically on her first time job as a co-pilot whenever her main pilot uh, has a heart attack or whatever in the middle of a uh, flight and she basically has to, to, to land the plane and she does it, it's considered a big, it's considered a big achievement, she saves a bunch of lives, but she got hurt real bad in the accident and basically her confidence was, you know, destroyed. She didn't feel like she was a good airplane pilot anymore, but as you can see here, the the fly and also the other guy on the team Ted are basically trying to pep talk her and get her to realize she actually is a really good pilot. And we got Ted here who is a you guys you can see is a double empty T he has no hands. And we see his back his flashback is that he was a, you know he's an engineer that was serving in Vietnam, and um, basically he had planned he had planned a bomb to blow a bridge up, but there wasn't supposed to be any civilians on the bridge. But then this woman and a her kid somehow got past the uh, blockade and we started to walk on the bridge so he tried to save them and I, it doesn't really show if he actually saves them or not but he, the, the bridge blows up with him on it and he loses his hands and he's ready to give up just like the girl was ready to give up but then both of them get visited by a mysterious person who we all know is the fly but they don't show who he is 
and the fly reveals that he has that his he was hurt himself and he has you know steel like his most of his body is made of steel now or whatever and um so yeah both and both all three of them are at the same hospital that's what's kind of cool about this background story is they all meet in the same hospital ward or whatever you know all injured in different ways by different means and so here we have a really cool panel of the human fly and Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Sense is tingling. That classic, you know, old school Spider-Sense art, you know, design artwork that I love so much where half his face is Spider-Man. So, yeah, we get some pretty cool art and stuff. And we get a little bit of the hit, we get a little bit of the human fly's origin here as we find out that he was hurt in a car wreck. We don't know who he is. But we find out he was hurt. He was hurt in a car wreck. And they said he would never walk again. But as you can see here, he basically pushes himself and trains himself so he can walk again. It's a very uplifting story, honestly. You know, it's about it's all about not letting people tell you what you can't do and uh, you know fighting against the odds to become something great. That's basically the message of this series. So the fly is basically able to get into the uh, building. I mean, not the building, the airplane. He starts fighting on the goons, and during the confusion, see, P Spider Man was worried that people the people would find out who he is, and he he didn't want to. He didn't want to reveal himself and possibly get the, the people hurt. But now that the fly is fighting these guys and there's all this confusion, no one cares, no one sees what Peter's doing. So Peter hurries up and puts his costume on and helps out, starts fighting. They fight side by side. And then the villain, the mercenary, grabs a jetpack and tries to run out. But Fly chases after him, grabs onto him. And they and Fly has no way, no way of surviving this. He just jumps out because he doesn't want to let the guy get away. So Spider-Man jumps after them, basically, you know, uh, with the with the fly's help, they're able to knock the, knock the mercenary out, and then Spider-Man's able to keep them alive with a, with a cool webbing parachute thingy. And then Spider-Man leaves because he knows he knows he has to be back on the plane before anybody realizes Peter Parker is gone. Um, and then we get you know then we get some little cool little scene where and also the human fly in the stories always gives his money to charity. Like anytime people try to give him reward money or whatever, they, he always gives it to charity. So yeah, that's the book. Um, it's a pretty cool little story. I I used to really like these. Uh, I used to have a bunch of these as as a kid, or a, as a you know youngin. I used to have a bunch of these because there used to be like a flea market by my house. They used to sell a bunch of these. It sold a few things. They had a bunch of these. They had a bunch of Amethyst, Princess of Gem World, and some uh, some other book. I used to pick them up all the time. Like they'd always have, like no one really went in that flea market. It was real close to my house. So I would go in like every you know every week and buy a few new books. I say new books, but buy a few books that I hadn't picked up yet. So eventually I had like ha half this run, but uh, since then they've all been lost. And I recently picked the first issue up somewhere. Uh, I was at like a I was at a comic book store. I showed it in one of my other videos. I was at a comic book store that was a couple hours from me. I went to visit them, and they had this, and I was like, man, I really need to rebuy this Human Fly number one. So I picked it up. I might get it graded one day. It's a pretty good. It's in pretty solid condition. I might. I might. If I ever get comic books graded, this might be the one of the ones I get graded because I really like this book. It's a. It's, it's very. It's part of my childhood. You know. I remember. I'm not from the 70s. I mean, I'm not that old. But when I was little, I used to read a lot of these. So yeah. But as you as you can see, guys, it's it's a very interesting story. Uh, there's a lot of interesting kind of hidden stuff about it. Not hidden, but just interesting facts about the real life aspect of it that I had to kind of dig for that information man I had to go to like three or four different articles and cross read stuff to find that out like it wasn't super easy to find that information on a google search so um as it as always guys thank you for watching the videos and uh see you guys later